I'm here with Bruce Kula Audio. Fight How's hype, going? fight hype, man. I'm good, man. Just, you know, a little chilly, but, mm -hmm. you know, I got to see me some fights. Now, uh, the other week, you, you were coming off of a, a fight on the Durante Tank undercard against yeah. Alexander. You, you came on the other end. It was a very close, contested fight. A lot of people had you winning in that fight. And, yeah. You know, um, a little recap and talk about that fight. I mean, I, I, I just felt like, I felt like it was just a bullshit decision. You know what I mean? Like, before people start complaining and talking shit, talking about I'm making excuses, let's not act like bad judging hasn't been a big topic in boxing throughout the years. So last week, it was just, you know, I got a sample of that. You know what I mean? I fought early, so I had the rookie judges. And I had three rookie judges in front of when two vets were fighting back to back. You know what I mean? So, but it is what it is. I mean, I wouldn't have had to fight that type of guy if these so-called 154-pound champions and challengers would just step up. You know what I mean? Bond's a 168-pound prison champion. You know what I mean? Like big, strong, cock to dude, you know? But these 154-pound guys just don't want to fight me. So I had to fight. I was willing to fight whoever, and that's who they brought. You know, but it is what it is. Eventually, the so far top 54-pound guys will step up. And like I said, I'll be ready. Y'all saw what I did to the last former 154-pound champion. Dominated them. These guys, they can't hurt me. They're too small. And I'm, a, I'm telling you, I'm going to be champ at 54. And, and you mentioned a couple of guys that you were called, you know, like, like you were mentioning, you came off a great performance against Derek Bird on the Floyd undercard back early in this year. Yeah. And, and pretty much, you, you know, currently yeah. uh, we want to see the best fight the best. And coming off that performance, exactly. you wanted her to face others, and now you're here. Who are some of the people that you want to face? Yeah. Is, it, uh, is it Tony Harrison? Is it... I flat out called Tony Harrison. I said the fight makes the most sense. After I just beat a unified champion, it makes more sense to fight a former title challenger. Tony Harrison was talking all that shit online. All that shit. That he was willing to fight, you know, that we were going to fight, and that he was going to call Al and blah, 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 blah. But when it came down to it, he was just trying to look for a payday. The easiest way to tell somebody that you don't want to fight is to blame the money. And that's what he did. So they just really gotta shut up and fight. Like I said, I'm willing to challenge anybody 154 pounds that's fought any, that's already fought for the title or that's had a title. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm willing to do it. Who else at the 154 pounds has the resume that I got? I didn't fought nothing but champions and challengers. I haven't turned down not a single fight. Yeah, 160. Even even Vaughn. Vaughn really 160. Only person to ever stop Vaughn is a 168 pounder. I weighed 155 pounds, and I still felt like I won the fight. I mean, but like I said, these guys, these bigger guys can't hurt me. So I know for sure these smaller guys can't hurt me. And I'm gonna come into the 154 pound division, and I'm gonna get a title shot, and I'm gonna beat them. So like I said, any any top guy that they say is a top guy in the division, I'm willing to fight them. No, no if, if, hands, doubts about it. They bring them to me, I'm taking it. Yeah, yeah, uh, going to Australia, it would have to make sense. You know what I mean? It would have to make sense. But I, I don't turn down shit. Turn down shit, you know what I mean? Like, it, it ain't nothing, you know what I mean? Like, any 54-pound guys, they're all going to need titles. Erickson Lube is number one right now in the division. He's going to need somebody to fight with. You know what I mean? I fit the script. Tony Harrison, former champion, he's going to need somebody to fight with. I fit the script. All these so-called challengers and top guys, I fit the script to fight them. I just, I just dominated a, a unified champion. And the only reason I wasn't on TV on this last pay-per-view fight was because these other guys at 54 didn't want to fight. But at least five, six people turned down the fight. And then it was like, yo, you know what? We can't get you a, a pay-per-view approval fight. It's not as easy to get these fights done. It's not as easy to get these guys in the ring as you think. So they brought me the fight they brought me. I took the gamble because I'm a fighter. I fought and I caught the bad end of the decision. Don't mean I can't fight. So like I said, last time people saw me on TV and they saw me around here, I dominated a unified champion at the division. So give me another one and I'm going to do the same. Last week, because you're in the 154 division, it looks like Jamel and Costello is going to be facing for a rematch. And I yeah, know that you're yeah. going to face the winner of that. Do you, who do you think wins that fight it's coming forward? Uh, I mean, I think it's going to be a good one, but it's going to be hard to beat Charlo in Houston. Hmm. So they fighting in Houston, so it's going to be hard to do it. But if Charlo wins the belts, 
He's probably going to move up, and there's going to be four open belts. And Luis Arias is going to be in position to fight one of them. So like I said, bring me any former champions or challengers at 54, and watch what I do to them. Simple, that's all I'm saying. Lastly, uh, uh, did Danny Garcia is saying that he's going to jump up. If Danny Garcia wants to step up, mm. and he's willing to see the guy, the thing is, guys are not willing to fight me. I'm a hard fight. I don't give a fuck about my record. I got a very, I got a good chin. Bigger guys can't knock me down, and I'm skillful. So I'm a hard fight for anybody. So guys are not gonna be like, you know what? I'm willing to fight Luis Arias out the gate. They not because it's just an honest fact. If not, Tony Harrison would have stopped talking all that shit and he would have stepped up, but he didn't. So like I said, man, I'm gonna be in position and I'm still in position. I got the most powerful guy behind me for a reason. So if Floyd wants me to fight any of these top guys, I will. When Floyd wants me to fight for a world title, I will. And, and, and y'all gonna see more of me. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, man, these guys step up. Step up. They all gonna need opponents, and I'm gonna be right there. I'm still right there. It don't matter what happened last week. The last time the people saw me, I dominated a former champion. So we riding that wave. So until another 154 pounder beats me, can't none of them boys beat me. So. And the social media for the fans to follow you? Yeah, you follow me at Luis Cuba Arias. You know, I'm on Instagram, on Twitter, man. Like I said, I'm a fight fan. I'm, I'm confident. I love talking shit, man. We could be playing the game and I'm talking shit, but we're here to have a good time. It's one of the last Showtime fights of the year, and it's going to be a war. I mean, this, how many wars have you been in this place? So yeah. let's get it, man. Tune in. Awesome. Appreciate it. All right, no doubt.